Hello and welcome to another video edition of collegedecode.com. Today we are going to be talking about the important documents required for JOSA counseling 2024. As you know, the JE advanced results were announced on 9th June 2024 and the registration process for JOSA counseling begins on 10th June 2024. So here are the important documents that you are required to keep handy for the registration process of JOSA counseling for admission to premier institutes like IIT, IIIIT and GFTIs, which is government funded technical institutions. In this video, we will list down the important documents that you require so that you don't have to scramble at the last moment. Let's get you organized. So the primary question is, when do you require documents during JOSA counseling 2024? The answer is, after the JOSA seat allotment result is announced, you'll need to upload scanned copies of your documents for online verification. This is specifically done within a specific window period once the seat allotment results are announced. After the allocation, if you accept your allotted seat, there will be a separate stage where you will need to submit the documents that you have uploaded online. For this, you will need to be physically present at the institute for verification. So this means that all the documents will be verified at the time of reporting at the admitting institute. List of all documents required for JOSA counseling 2024. Here's a list of all the documents that you might require for JOSA counseling 2024. J main admit card and J main scorecard if you are seeking admission based on J main scores. J E advanced admit card and J E advanced scorecard if you are seeking admission based on J advanced scores. Class 10th mark sheet or date of birth proof to verify your date of birth. Class 12 mark sheet and pass certificate to verify your academic qualifications. Photo identity card which can include Aadhaar card, passport, voter ID card or a driving license. Provisional JOSA seat allotment letter 2024, which can be downloaded from the JOSA website after each round of seat allocation. Three passport size photographs that should be recent and that should match the photos that you've uploaded during JE application form. Candidates undertaking form signed by you, which can be downloaded from the JOSA website. Proof of seat acceptance fee payment. This can be obtained by downloading your eChalan or by taking a printout of your online transaction receipt. A medical certificate stating your fit and fine. Category certificate if you belong to a reserved category. PWD certificate issued by a government medical board. Passport or OCI certificate or a PIO card if you are foreign national. After you've collected all this, here are some important points to remember. After each round of seat allotment, candidates will have to upload the certificates or the documents in the prescribed format. As a candidate, you do not have to visit the reporting center. Your documents will be verified online. You need to carry all your verified documentation at the allotted institute. Both original and photocopies of the certificate should be carried at the time of verification. If a female candidate wrongly declares their gender as male and is allocated a seat in an academic program where female candidates are restricted, the allotted seat will be cancelled. The same rule applies to male candidates as well. Such candidates will be considered for seat allocation in the subsequent round of seat allocation by changing their gender. For IITs, if a aforementioned candidate fails to produce a valid proof of foreign nationality, any seat allocated to the candidate will be cancelled. Such candidates will be considered for seat allocation in the subsequent round under the open category only. Hopefully you found this video informative and I hope that you carry all your documents for verification for JOSA counseling. Good luck students and keep watching this space for more.
Don't forget to like or subscribe our channel for timely updates. See you.